This example will show you how to do the calculations of a proportion test. Um, the proportion, most tests are basically done the same way in R. You figure out what kind of test you're doing, and then you type in the command for that. Um, since this is a proportion test, we do purport, prop for proportion and then dot test. So if you were doing a different type of test, you'd start off with whatever that was, dot test. And then in parentheses, you would type in the information you have, whether it's data or a variable. In this case, with proportion tests, it's always data. And we always start off typing in our x value that we calculated, that we measured, counting how many people had that characteristic. Let's say we had an example that 300 people had a certain characteristic. And then you type in your n, which is out of how many people did you actually deal with. So let's say we had an example that dealt with 1501 people. And then the last thing you can type in, you don't have to, but if you happen to have um, uh, a p-value that you want to compare that to, uh, uh, what your HO says p is equal to, so you type that in. Um, if you don't type anything in, in that, it will assume it's 0.5. So in most cases, you will be typing something in for that. And then the last thing is if your alternate hypothesis isn't a not equal to, if it happens to be a less than or a greater than, then you type in alternative equals, and either in quotes less, if you have a less than for your alternative hypothesis, your HA, or you type in greater inside the quotes if you had a uh, greater than. And then you'd hit enter, and you come up with this information. Now, in most statistics books, a one sample proportion test is actually done using a Z. Uh, this one actually does it using a chi squared, uh, which is something we will see later, you might see later in your course. Um, but the p-value is basically the same value. So this is actually the only thing you really need out of this is the p-value. Um, you can see your p-value is 4.18. That e means uh, times 10 to the negative 6. Uh, most computers and calculators can't write times 10 to the, so they write an e. R, for some reason, uses a small e, which kind of bothers me, but um, you would write that as 4.18 times 10 to the negative 6, which is a fairly small p-value. Um, there is something called a continuity correction. Some books don't use the continuity correction, so if you wanted to, you could do this with um, correct equals false. Um, and that changes the p-value ever so slightly. As you can see, it actually isn't going to make any difference because we're still times 10 to the negative 6. So you're still going to probably reject HO. Uh, but you can do that. It's not expected unless you need to.